It's Dr. Lori. I'm in Goodwill in Avon, Connecticut. Let's see what we find. Separated dishes like this of pink depression glass. That glass, of course, is uh, made famous in the Depression era, but is made as late as the late 1950s. That's what you have here. It's a 1950s piece, but pink depression glass, very desirable. And of course, you could have you know, a little crudité. So you can have a little carrots and some celery and maybe something to dip it in, that kind of thing. That's a nice piece. For three bucks, that piece is worth 35. This particular piece is a loaf dish. That's an anchor hocking. So we know about, we know all about Pyrex. Anchor hocking, or anchor as they're known, um, is also one of the premier American manufacturers of these baking wares. So these are popular, these are important pieces. You have a mark right here with the anchor on the back. I don't know if that helps or not. With the anchor on the back for anchor, also known as anchor hawking. Um, but this piece I like, I don't see, oh, $3 for that. I would say $3, you can get 12. So four times what it's priced at. That's a bargain too, I like that piece. And remember, I'm not competing with, every, with you guys. I want you to come, I'm showing you what you should find. I'm showing you what's valuable and I'm putting it back for you. you know, come and get it. And you know, folks are coming up to me going, hey, Dr. Lori, you know, um, I, I didn't realize that you're actually putting these things back as you're helping us. So that's what I want to do. Um, and a lot of you in the comments will say, oh, do people come up to you while you're filming? Yes, they do. They come up to me. Uh, some people interrupt completely. Some people are just trying to get information and can't believe I'm here. So I am here out with all of you trying to help. So way down here, can you see this? A little later than mid-century modern, right? So you're at the 1970s, early 70s. It's sculptural and it's functional. So a lot of people will be looking for it. So you can put decorative elements in either side, flowers, whatever you want. You could also, of course, just use it as a sculpture itself. Clear glass, beautiful, and it's crystal. So crystal clear, heavy in weight. Um, a nice design. A couple of issues with respect to scratches, but very minor. I would definitely take this. Five dollars, right? Now, so you're thinking, oh, okay, so this is, now you're into the in interest of glass art. You're not just dealing with a piece that's, a gl that's basically a vase or just a piece of glass. This piece is the 70s. Typically, you're going to see them made in Italy. You're going to see them made in parts of Spain. Value on this piece, $275 for a $5 investment. I looked through all the books. I'm not going to waste your time going through individual books, uh, but I want to tell you, this is the one you should have looked for or found. One dollar, here it is. It's Bruno Munari's Zoo from 1963. It is a premier design book in children's literature and it's basically one of the early picture books of animals. Look at how beautiful the artwork is in this. And there, there we go, look at that. Ah, love it, love it. How much can you get for it? $25 is what it's worth for your one dollar investment. So there's your bargain in children's books. I always tell you to look for children's books little mason jars, but those are the repros. Here's a basket. Broken. Look at that crack. That you gotta leave there. Don't try to save it. You gotta leave it there. So that's unfortunate because that is a big, that's a very big crack on that piece. What are they gonna want for that? Even cracked? See, this is when I, remember when I, I don't know if you guys were watching, when I slipped my finger open. That's what I was doing. I was pulling something off a high shelf and it cracked. So they want five for this cracked. So that's saying here. So don't do what I just did. So get your hand underneath it, grab the handle and then bring it down. Otherwise you're gonna rip your finger open and go to the emergency room and meet the doctors. You don't wanna do any of that. Oh, here you go. Well, yeah. I was like, yay, this is what this is. But this particular piece from the 1960s, you probably have seen this this golden decal of the, of the leaves. Uh, this, of course, the larger scale pieces. There are smaller tumblers too. You got a lot of different ones in this set um, from the 1960s, but very poor condition. So I'd probably say leave this here. Let me see how much it is before I say that. Yeah, $2, I definitely leave that there. In good condition, yes, they sell, they sell pretty well in that 10 to $15 range, depending on which ones you have, because they're mid-century modern, they're barware, people like to collect that, yeah. 
but this damage, I'd probably leave that for $2. Now, I wouldn't leave these. These, I would basically say, depending on it, this is still a little bit high. These are also a decal. Oh, these are like the, the, um, the, the uh, wagons, the horse-drawn carriages. So kind of Victoriana revival, again, 1960s era, um, but, but the blue and the white is very popular, and there's a set of four. So that's really the desired of this piece, these pieces a set of four. So you've got $2 each for those. Good condition. And I think for the set of four, you'd pay $8, and I think you could get 60. Do we have four of these? I like these. I don't see four of those. Too bad. Not too much sort of everyday glassware. These are from IKEA. Those are not that expensive at all. Those were a key of the 1990s kind of pieces. So you've got these that look like Ralph Lauren pieces, but I think they're knockoffs and not the actual Ralph Lauren um, pattern. So that's what you have here. So um, for a dollar each, yeah, they're, the, they're knockoffs, obviously. Well, how do you tell? See the grayish color? See how gray the glass is? Ralph Lauren, it would be the crystal. It would be very, very sharp. It, sharp in here, and it would be um, very, very light in color, very clear color set. So um, I'd leave those there for a dollar each, unless you need, you know, a set. But they're not Ralph Lauren, which would be like twenty dollars each. So we'll leave those there. These glasses are nice. These glasses are nice, and you know they've got a little, they've got a little uh, decoration on them. They're not high quality, but they do look nice. And if they're a buck a piece, they're going to be worth it. Yeah, they're $2 a piece. Eh, at a buck a piece, I'd say yes. At $2 a piece, I'd probably leave them there. They're about $3 a piece. And there's, looks like there's six. Uh, I'm seeing at least one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you do have a set. You do have a set with, of course, the silver plating over the clear glass. But it's not crystal. They're just clear glass. So uh, let's see what we got. Oh, look, there's an L. <laughs> it's always good to have your own initial, right? So, and those were very popular in the 1970s and 80s, too. Uh, Machu Picchu. So, something to really see. A lot of walking. Bring your best sneakers. If you decide to go to Peru, the, of course, you have to see that, that amazing place. Uh, let's see if we can find some amazing things. Oh, here. These are nice. Only two of them, though. So, here's where these are, these are interesting. So, you've got the frosted here. Now, I don't like to drink with the frosted. Like, I don't like that feeling if I'm drinking out of a glass. I don't like a frosted glass, but a lot of people do. And pr in terms of being attractive, they're very attractive. Then look at the crackle, then the frosted again, and then it's plain. So this is difficult to do. So you have to be doing this in terms of manufacture. This is a lot to do. There's only two of them, I think. And here's two more. Okay. So now this is where, when you put them together, it really will help people. So now you have a set of... Four. They're $3 each, and I think they're $3 each because of the difference, the fact that they are a set of four. Because when they came in, they knew they were a set of four, and then they get onto the shelves and they could just end up anywhere. People move them, they don't realize. Um, so that's why I think they're priced so high. I would try a coupon day if you could. You know, oh, is there a coupon? Is there some kind of special red coupon day or something like that? Um, value, uh, they're easily worth $8 each. So eight and eight, 16, $32. And these are three, six, nine. So 12 to make 32, that's a pretty good deal. And they're very good, they're nice and attractive. And they're attractive because of the crackle glass, the frosted glass, the frosted stem, and of course the plain base. Um, but again, they're relatively new within the last 25 years. Oh, I think I should take my, my lorry cup, my L cup. Look how cool that is. My mother used to make her L's like this. This is a very early 20th century kind of thing. She was born in 1922. So she would make an L like that, not an L like I make them in cursive. And nobody writes in cursive. Like my little nieces and younger family members, they don't write in cursive. So this was seen as a, uh, uh, a nice mid 20th century L. I like that. How much is that? $2. Well, I think $2 is worth it. 
but I leave all of them there for you. All the treasures I leave for you. I don't want to compete with you. And I don't need to be, you know, going on Google images because you don't know what anything is or looking up, um, about looking up prices on other platforms. I know what the market is. So all these so-called, you know, folks who are just doing this on Google images and maybe getting the right information and maybe not getting the right information, I want you to understand and know what the markets are. And I'm telling you what I know what the markets are, and that means who actually paid the bill. Not just what somebody lists something at, at a price, but what they actually paid. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, see, there's, the other, there's another L. So you could have matching L's. Oh, well, what's over on this side? The gold. Okay, so traditional. And you can see there's lots of them. So to me, there's a bargain happening there because of volume, right? Anytime you have a set, and when it comes to glasses, sets are two, six, 10, 12. So there's a lot of glasses there. I see 12, I see 16 glasses there. To me, in that condition, that they're only a couple bucks a piece, I'd probably say take all of those. And the reason for it is the set. Now, I would tell them when I got up there, if you can negotiate, a lot of you go, you can't negotiate, you can't negotiate. Give it a try. <laughs> Be polite, try it. I would say, hey, look, I'm taking 16 of them. Can you give me any kind of deal? You know, even a little bit of a, of a bargain would be helpful. But those, I think, are very nice. And they look like they're in good condition. They're functional, and they haven't really been used. You can see they haven't been used by the fact that the gilt is still in very good condition and intact. And there's more to come from Avon, Connecticut.